Hello everyone, thanks for joining me for some Horizon Forbidden West Burning Shores. We're going to continue on with day two of our playthrough, and thank you so much to PlayStation for the key. We had a lot of fun with the start. Um, Seika, I believe her name is, was a super, super cool character that we've gotten introduced to. Her and Aloy were like becoming like friends, becoming a little closer, and then kind of had like some tension, and they were both like, I'm not telling you anything. I'm not telling you anything. Um, it seems like they're, they're a little too similar um, to be getting along right now, which like is fair. So <laughs> they're, they're both a little stubborn, which, which makes them who they are. So I'm sure they'll figure it out. Um, let's see. So we're in this whole new area. We have a bit more exploring to do, but we did go down and do this initial quest in this area, the side quest. And now we need to go meet Seika at Fleet's End. Aloy and Seika head to the coordinates recovered from Londra's ancient headquarters. Their goal, discover the rogue Zenith's plans and the fate of Seika's missing people. So we already climbed up onto the big tower that like basically shot us out of the sky. Um, Luckily for Aloy, she does have a glider for emergency situations such as that one. But we did go fight it. Like, you know, it was good, but oh, turns out it was like it kind of expected. The guy was like kind of waiting for Aloy to show up. He's like, there you are. Um, so we need to go figure out what the heck is going on with that guy. And yeah, unfortunate that he is still alive. They, they were not supposed to have gotten away, like none of them. They're like super sci-fi people, so that, that doesn't work for us. Um, and they, they kind of want to take over the whole everything. So, let's go back and talk to her. Oh, no, that's not what I meant to do, but that's fine. Parkour. Uh, damn. Ow. Oh. Just great. Is everything okay? I gave my report to the Admiral. Apparently, some of the crew have called for me to be stripped of rank and cast out. I'm so sorry, Seika. That must be really hard to take. It doesn't matter. Where are we headed next? Well, um, we know where Londra sent the data from his old company. Somewhere on the mainland north of where we met. Should be able to fly there. Yeah, about that. Let's take my skiff this time. <laughs> She's like, yeah, no, I'm not doing that again. Not a fan of flying, huh? I'm a marine. I'll take the water over the skies any day. All right, I'll take your skiff. Should we get going? Um, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, let's go. Follow me. I do appreciate when they give you a chance to like, you know, are you ready? You sure? You upgraded. You buy everything. We should be good to go. If not, we'll find out. Nice and easy. And unlike flying, if you fall off, you don't die. But what if there's sharks? Did you think of that? Aloy, Aloy could fight a shark. And there's also probably Open no sharks. Water ahead and fleets end disappearing mm. behind us. Maybe Along maybe a machine shark. Everyone in it. Probably. Why do you Put up with them. I mean, I, I get what it's like to feel as if an entire tribe's against you. I would have stormed out of there a long time ago. It wasn't always like this. I was a good Marine, a good sister. It felt like I belonged. That belonging is a kind of strength, one that keeps me going even in the roughest seas. When you have something like that, you can't cast it aside. I see. You know, your people don't know how lucky they are to have you. I don't know about that. Her hair looks very majestic. I do. Oh. Okay, Aloy, opening up a little bit. Looks like I need a little bit more healing. Maybe I should have gone back to my box. <laughs> well, seems like the coordinates are leading us towards that horse. That thing gives me the creeps. There we go. On clear nights, we can see it from the camp looming over us. There! On the shore! More of our boats! Then we're on the right track. 
I'll take us in. So I wonder if they're gonna have her and Alva meet? Like, I I'm just speculating right now. But like, it sounds like they're all kind of originally from the same place, but like super split up. Like, I don't know if they'd know each other personally. Okay. I don't think the so. The coordinates point to somewhere up the hill. After you. Somewhere up the hill. All right, let's go. I've also been seeing that they've been releasing a bunch more patches and stuff for like performance. Ooh, towards the Hollywood sign. Anyone ever done the hike up there? I've never done like the specific hike, like right up to it, but I've, I've gone up to like, what is it? The observatory or something that's like right up there. You can like see pretty clearly that's, it's not that exciting. I think the observatory is a bit more exciting. It's more just kind of fun. I feel like to see it away, so, see it from far away sometimes. But as someone who's just like in LA a lot, it's just like, eh. Once you see it, it's like, hmm. Definitely seems like we're heading kind of fun. Devil. It's just kind of fun. Why would Laundra send his data here? I'm not sure. It's not a place to bring a bunch of Quen to. Should I put a big sign I just on my hope house? We find them. My people were here, all right. Looks like they headed further up the hill. So I wonder what the lore is on that way too. Hollywood here. I wonder what we're gonna get. What do people think about this? Burning Shores definitely looks graphically more impressive than the main map. Oh, definitely. The clouds, especially. Like, look at that cloud! I don't know. The clouds, I was noticing a lot last time. They were, I think, the best video game clouds I think I've ever seen. And we're only seeing on 1080p. Like, beautiful. I do appreciate that scan feature. I love that. I kind of miss Isaac Clark's path to the objective. That was nice. I don't think I should rappel down there. Um, let's glide. Is this easy? Can, can she figure that out? She'll be fine. Barrier. Laundra must have set it up. Doesn't look like there's a way past it. <laughs> she Some kind of device on the other side. Device on the other side. All right, what's it going to tell us? Something hiked up to the sign and did an inspection. The coating is working up to spec. Reapplied the nanite mixture on one corner of the second L that seems to have been missed when initially applied. Okay, so it looks like we've got to go check out the second L for something. No sign of weathering or decay. So far, the protection is as good or better than what we saw on the test surfaces in Vegas. Barring unforeseen circumstances, the new gunk should keep this sucker safe well into the next... Well, apparently it did last a long time, so good for them. Great coding. Good job. Would buy again. I think I can scan it. Oh, good. She caught up. She figured it out. <laughs> Magically. <laughs> I would have loved to see her try to glide across there like oh no okay let's check this way um is that like a cave no hollywood data i found called it the land of dreams i guess it's really my reality oof i'm sorry Little creature. Aloy's hungry. What is that thing? I'm not sure. Looks like it's hooked up to the Horus. Hooked up Looks to like the some kind of heat sink. Horus. Heat sink for Horus cooling system. Frame can be extracted for maintenance access. I'm feeling like there's going to be something up here based on that data point. How do I get up there? Maybe I have to go up and over? Let's see. Scan the device. Wait, did I miss something? What did I miss? What device? 
Did I miss something? Is this one I have to shoot? Oh, that's one that can just crumble, I guess, if I'm, like, in combat. Okay, hang on. I missed something over here? What did I miss? Oh, I needed to scan the big shield closer. I was too far. Dang it. Thank you. My focus is getting a reading on that device. Well, she said something now. Stop walking in front of me. Thank you. All right. Let's see what's on this thing. It looks like there's something further in. Some kind of compound. Ooh, sneaky. Landra might be in there. You're missing people, too. I'm not seeing a way past the barrier. There. That's some kind of power generator. Hooked up to the arm of the Horus. Weird. Blondra's figured out how to get part of it working again. Giddy. A metal devil can't actually wake up, can it? <sighs> I'm not sure. But at least right now, it must be how Londra's powering the barrier. So if we can find a way to shut down those generators, it should come down. It's worth a shot, at least. It looks like there are two of them nearby. Come on, let's get going. Okay, so the now we gotta go down the hill. Disable the generators. All right, interesting. Wondering if we're gonna find any more side quests too. I might need to go do a little bit more exploring. So after this quest, if it doesn't give me any side quests, we'll we'll go do a little bit of flying around and see if we can find anything. into a lot of trouble to power that shield. Got a couple of our big ugly friends too. Hmm. Ugh. And more eggs. The eggs. Yes, I could use the target practice. Did it not? Oh no! Let him out now. Okay, got it. a little low on healing. Now we're good. I do appreciate when it actually does give me healing. Gotta find them. There's no mark. Well, it looks like it's at least gonna be... It's gonna be back where I just was, probably, right? I don't know. Let's see. So... Can I climb anything? Oh, I can pry open... <laughs> That's random. Engine crate. Not what I should be doing. I should probably be shooting these things, but, you know. I was looting and they were interrupting. Melee detonator. What is that? I don't remember what that is. I'm gonna have to try that. Looks like there's some some things to climb up here. Come on. Okay, let's use some drill spikes here. And then maybe like get out of the, the that. Do I have a okay, let's use a stew, sure. 
Uh, that's not what I want, actually. Let's do this. Um, how about some fire bombs? Like a lot of them. I super missed. Okay, that's gonna be really hard to hit with that. Hi there, buddy. Wait, resonator blast thing? Yes. Okay, I need to scan this guy. There we go. We got another one. Okay, so that's all the drill spikes I need for the moment. Let's do... What was he weak to? Fire. Yes. Nice. Okay. Ooh, please get out of all of this. Make some more of those. Put it on fire. Come on. On fire. Let's go. Let's do this. Come on. Finally on fire. Yes. Okay, that didn't do as much as I hoped. That's unfortunate. Okay, let's use... I need a tear arrow. Let's get that. Uh, okay. Let's mark it again. Okay, let's not miss the giant things. Yep. I need to be shooting those off. Let's try some precision arrows. This thing has a lot more tear. Okay, ow. Ow. not even worried about the corruption poison thing at this moment. I have bigger problems. Okay, we're gonna grab all those healing herbs. And we're gonna make some more of those. Finally, got a thing. Okay, let's get the other one. Come on. I got the other one. Come on, can we scan it again? Come on, please scan it again. Thank you. Okay, we're getting there. This is quite something. All right, let's go back to some of the drill spikes. Nice. I could get these like right in the soft part. There we go. Did I get it underneath? Maybe. Uh oh, is she down? Okay, come on. It's time to run. Time to run. Oh! Did the drill spikes. Oh, I finally had enough of them. <laughs> Woo! All right, we are now warmed up for today. <laughs> Egg launcher, okay. Thank you. So that was not even the objective. That was just something to fight, okay. Let's figure out our way up. Looks like right here. I 
definitely like the hardest machine. That one was uh, intense. That was fun though. Let's see if we can shut this thing. Down. I enjoyed that fight. There's some kind of power core. I can't hit the core on my own. Seika, I need you to shoot the core. Is it? Got it. Oh. One down. Now for the other generator. Teamwork. I like that it actually takes the two of us together. It's kind of nice. Halo can't do this one on her own. I mean, I'm sure she'd, she'd find a way, but... You know, better with the team. Okay, let's not have out the drill spikes right now. Those are for the big guys. I like the warrior bow. I'm liking it more than the hunter bow. It feels a lot more useful, especially just like with my builds. The melee warrior bow sort of thing. Okay, the swarms. Not about the swarms. I was just kind of trying to throw those on the ground, seeing if that worked better for like a splash damage. The problem is they just, they move so quick. That's helpful either. I'll just shoot him. Come on. I was playing Dead Space all last week. My my controller aim has improved. Not not like greatly, but it certainly has improved. Oh, I'm dying. Okay, my awareness could could still use some improvement, but that's okay. One thing to tag. Okay, so adhesive arrows. What is the melee detonator thing? I'm still trying to figure that out. We're figuring things out. Okay, why 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 is there another one? Why is there another one? That was not great placement. Let's put that right there. Make some more precision arrows. Gosh dang it, I was hoping that wasn't gonna hit me. It's not, he doesn't have to be very precise with the hits. Okay, let's use the drill spikes. Gosh dang it. Get up faster, please. There we go, right in a weak spot. Ah! Okay, let's make some more of those. These really helped me last time. Oh, I need to go back up here. I do not need to be falling down here right now. Uh, hi there. Excuse me. Excuse me. Don't mind me, I'm com coming through. There we go. There we go. Got another weak spot. It's good. I'm just taking I'm taking the damage. You sure know how to handle that weapon. Why, thank you. Bloodborne was this forgiving. Oh, <laughs> uh, come on. Shoot the thing. Thank you. Okay, let's shoot. Something else. Uh, let's make some more ammo and then let's run away. Okay, we're running a little low on heal. It's okay, though. Uh, let's go with another drill spike. How about that? Go. Use some more of these precision arrows. There are lots 
slower than the hunter arrows. Canister, come on. Come on. There we go. Come on. Die. Don't die. Not me. Not me. Not Aloy. Okay, yeah, let's not land on me, thank you. Uh, let's make another drill spike. There we go. Now we can oh. focus on the generators. That took it out, nice. Okay. Fights are, uh, they're going today. They've been fun. <laughs> Unused, like, coils and stuff. Do I have, like, a better coil? Oh, I equipped this, and I never added any coils. Okay, thank you, game. Instant burning chance. Enemies have a chance to en instantly enter the burning state. Okay, yes. That's great. Why didn't I have that on before? Acid and fire. Okay, well, we only use fire on this, so there might be something better I can use that on. We'll see. Agility damage. I don't think that's really helpful now. Critical hit chance, maybe purge water. We could do some purge water damage there. High ground damage, draw speed. I'd maybe like to put that draw speed on my... um. What is that? Glow Blast Sharp Shot Bow. Yeah, I have a couple more coils on here now, too. Okay, I was not set up. Uh, draw Speed, that will really help. I was having a hard time with that. Increases critical hit chance and damage. Ooh, I don't know what I want to use that on. We'll see. Burning enemy damage, no. Critical hit chance. I feel like I should use both of these on something together. Drenched enemy damage, high ground damage, stealth damage, shock damage, overdraw damage. Yeah, let's increase that overdraw damage further. Sure. Sure. And then... This adhesive warrior bow is new as well. This one? Oh, some tear on that might be kind of nice. That's not really like my primary thing with it, but it would be really nice for this bow to do some tear. Because it's kind of just like my standard bow to like fire off a bunch of arrows. I'm going to try that. Oh, uh, no, we're already using that. Just kidding. Never mind. Uh, knockdown power? No. Shock damage, stealth damage. Adhesive buildup. Yeah, that makes sense for this one. What are the coils on this? Knockdown damage, 15%. Do I have a better one? No. Okay, so then the sky hammer. That's on the canister rope caster. That's fine. I want some extra fire damage, especially since there's like the burning chance. And then we'll also put could do overdraw damage, close range damage, close range damage. I'm gonna do that. So I only ever really use that when they're like up in my face, I feel like. The elite rope caster I have equipped right now. Is there anything useful I can put on there? Agility damage, draw speed. No, I already have that. Pretty much everything I can put on here, I'll just put that. A little overdraw damage. Um, I need to upgrade some of these things a little bit more, ideally. That would be nice. I would like a couple more things here. So, in that case...
Elite critical hits. I'm gonna do this one then. Yeah, equipped an elite coil or weave. So I definitely want that equipped. I was wondering if I had something better for that, but I think this is gonna be my best spot for that for now. So nice. Um, anything else I wanna put there? Mm, I mean, I'm not using that, so sure. Skills. I have a couple skill points. I think there was something I wanted last time. Shield drop. Gain the ability to craft and deploy drop shields. That might be kind of nice. Maximize shield durability by equipping outfit weaves, increasing the skill by up to two levels. Huh. So you can use weaves on the shields. Regain weapon stamina faster when you're in a critical health state. That honestly might be kind of nice for how I've been playing too. Hmm. Okay, so I like those. I already have the machine grapple strike, glide targeting, that one's good too. Rope caster expert, when a machine recovers from the tied down state, shoot another rope to instantly tie it down again for a short duration. Ooh, that's pretty useful. I didn't really go down this line, but I think it's time. I'm gonna go down here. Food duration, the rope caster. Fire rope that can attach to any part of an enemy, including armor, without needing to fully draw the weapon. Does not use up any ammo. Depletes a medium amount of weapon stamina. That's kind of nice. I'm going to get that. Okay, so I might actually start using my rope caster a little bit more here. I have a good one. I actually bought one. Hi, pirate. How's it going? Welcome on in. Greetings. Haven't played this game before? Would recommend. We are at the end. We've, we've already played the end of the main base game and now we are on to the dlc part would would highly recommend the series um zero dawn is also great as well place traps faster i guess i kind of got to take that in order to go down here so sure maybe i'll actually start using some traps recover more and high higher quality resources when deconstructing i mean sure because i want this nice Gradually regain health while inside a healing smoke bomb's cloud. That's kind of nice. Healing smoke bomb. Hmm. All right, so now what? Other generator. Forgot there was another one. We are nicely set up, though. Grab some healing. Lots of berries in there. Okay, we are nice and ready to go fight anything else that comes at us, but hopefully there's not another one of the big giant guys that we've already fought two of. Hopefully. I mean, probably did give us some good machine cards though, so can't really complain. I do wish that we could, like, instantly loot some of these random things. Like, I get to having to search, like, the, the chests. Like, the random scrap parts. Like, I suppose. The game is, I think it's 60 FPS? <coughs> I honestly don't know. Let me see. Like, I don't know. It's pretty okay. smooth. I have, like, a low level of motion blur turned on. I don't know, it's pretty nice. I don't really know how to turn on like the counter or anything, but I haven't really noticed any like drops or stutters or anything like that. It's been a, a pretty smooth experience. Here we go. Especially this DLC is only available on PS5 currently because they, um, they kind of went crazy with the clouds and the texture. It's, it's, it's definitely, like, beautiful. Even more than the regular game. I didn't know that they were going to, like, step it up. Crazy. Starting to really enjoy Zero Dawn has you considering getting a PS5. Wow. Well, yeah, on it! It's definitely enjoyable and would recommend. 
performance mode, 60 FPS, bounce mode, 40 FPS. Okay, I'm assuming, I, I think I'm on the 40. Right, let's get back to the bunker entrance. Barrier should be gone. Now. Ancestors, I hope my people are in there. Let me see, that's actually a great question. Oops. Yes, I closed photo mode. Um, balanced visual. Okay, I'm on performance. We could try balanced, but I felt like performance was pretty good, especially since I'm only on like 1080p. I'm only like, I can only run 1080p with this capture card. Um, so I feel like on performance mode, it's running fantastically and looks beautiful already. I didn't even realize. Yeah, and I've got motion blur low on, so. Across we go. Lots of healing. Is that... I'm gonna make sure that one doesn't come to life, thank you. Looks fine, right? You're sold. Not many console games allowed to choose between performance and quality, right? Always choose you know, performance. Mm -hmm. The last time I saw my Sounds sister, great. I was relieved she was leaving for a scouting mission. I guess I wanted a break from her. I get it. Things aren't always easy with my sister either. I thought you said you were an outcast. I <laughs> only I... met her recently. It's a, it's a long story. Always full of surprises. She's huh? like, it's a twin clone sister sort of. Point is, I'm, I'm sure your sister will be glad to see you. I don't know, but it's nice of you to say. Yeah, Aloy is still figuring out her relationship with Beta and the fact that they are like sisters, you know, because it's like they're like clones, but they're not like the same like person or anything, you know, it's not like they have like the same memories or anything like that. So they're definitely more like twin sisters, right? Like genetic clones, but like that's kind of it. use performance mode on an unlocked monitor it can go up to 90 fps oh that's awesome Barrier's gone. let's head in so pretty Ooh, you see that lightning Ooh, i like the random thunder cloud that's fun <laughs> fun details hey Lois, voice like actress still has some power She's also tiny Tina. Just been for the shield. Okay, that I didn't know. I, I also knew that she's in uh, The Last of Us Part 2, but did not know that she was tiny Tina. That's funny. I actually haven't played that one, but I've heard it's really fun. I've considered it. I still might someday. Make sure to explore that cloud. Does it just stay there? Okay. I'll have to. That's exciting. <laughs> A plague of frogs. On the whole, I find Sobek's machine to be tiresome. Do we really need terraforming robots to resemble giant lizards? The megafauna metaphor is almost comically trite. It reminds me of Evelyn's hollows, which in the end were little more than childish, pop childish popcorn fodder designed to separate tired parents from their surplus casts. Can I speak? Okay, let's try this again. That's fine. No. Surplus cash. <clears throat> that said, the big froggy things have manifested some useful behavior. Part of their function is to recycle technological components, and accordingly, they're attracted to some of my recently installed devices. Yet, they don't seem to know how to process them, so they just kind of hang around and root through rubble for scrap. The upside, they discourage the locals from trifling with my toys. Who knows, with a little luck, maybe they'll discourage the redhead as well. Hmm. Aloy? The redhead? No, Sobek. <laughs> oh my. Hey Dylan, how's it going? Welcome back. For people. And another mural. Yeah. Why are they all just waiting? Let's 
Find out. So we found her people. Hey, okay, no worries. You're good. Welcome on in. How's it going? One straggler and Seika. Okay, so have you come to join us? What? Join you? Yeah, we have. It took a while, but we finally made it. <laughs> a barbarian, one of the chosen. Impossible. Zeth what? Would never allow this. Okay, we're going mm. with it. How did you get in without him? Well, Zeth sent us, actually. After we helped him out of that um that ambush in the wild. Is, is this gonna work? You see, I was on my way here with him when machines attacked us. We tried to hold them off, but we were outnumbered. That's when Aloy here came to the rescue. I was exploring the region when I ran across them, so I just rushed in to help. Yeah, that's You should have seen her. One of the best machine hunters I've ever met. She saved Zeth's life. Oh, I was just doing what I could. Zeth had something important he needed to take care of after, so he said to go on without him. And that's when he told us how to lower the barrier and said we should head straight inside. Zeth really needed a barbarian to get him out of trouble. We all need a little supporting fire every now and then. Well, Zeth gave him the okay. And I am not risking one of his outbursts. Let the others inside know about a new arrival. It worked. Speech Fine. 100. But I'm not letting them into the job, Aloy. <laughs> until they prove they're devoted. Uh oh. Just like everyone else. Oh, what do we have to do? And I'll be interested to hear Zeth's side of this when he returns. Yeah, he's a little bit more suspicious. Oh, by all means. Don't mind him. Good luck in there, Seika. May you both embrace his light. What? Okay, so so we're we're in like a little bit of a, a, a situation. Oh, that's close. Hmm. I can't believe my people are here willingly, and they answer to Zeth. Yeah. What? Yeah, he sounds like a great guy. Let's get to this ascension hall before you have to meet him. So pretty. I feel like it's definitely running in like a nice, smooth, at least sixty FPS right here. You know. Very nice. A hologram of Alondra. Welcome, my chosen. You have wandered. Zeth? You have suffered. Is but this you are Zeth? Lost no more. Oh, good. For I have oh, found goody. you, and I offer you uh -oh. what you deserve: the ascension. So be at ease. Forget what you think you know, and embrace this moment. A new world awaits. Oh, really? Now. Okay. Okay. Yeah, like, all right. What? Oh, that's a lot of wonder. So he wants us to embrace his light. Walter Literally. has led such an inspiring life. What? We better keep up appearances in here. I'll try. I'd like you to meet some old friends of mine. See, we were at the best party in town, celebrating our big win. And while everyone's attention was on me, my ex-business partner, well, he barges in, and he's jealous of our success. And he throws a drink in my face, but not a drop hit me. Because my bodyguard, Jack, he tackled him to the floor. And the others, Riley and Nolan and Parker, well, they made sure he was kicked out. But it was my Evelyn who encouraged everyone to just laugh it off. Ah, I adored them. Their dedication to me meant everything more than any award. And it ended up being the best night of my life. I guess Laundra's used to people worshipping him. <laughs> Seems like he likes it. And then has this whole building. You you good? I must pass my devotion review. I must. 
Hmm. They've been feasting like Imperials. Wondrous benevolence, I bet. How could the Diviners have been so wrong about Walter's place in the legacy? Hmm. Were they? Well, we know that they at least were a little bit. Um, Come, sit with me. Sit? Oh, we're actually sitting. Okay. I'd like to tell you a story. Once, I had a home on this world with the most beautiful view of the city. Me and my wife, we used to love to sit and watch the city lights twinkle in the evening haze. It's our moment of serenity. But then, the time of ashes came. And while the heavens offered an escape, only I survived and grasped the secrets of immortality. So he's just... Evelyn, everyone I ever cherished... He's creating his own new narrative they here. Were gone. And I was alone. Which is why I am so glad to have met you. Soon, you and I shall spend eternity on a new world every sunset together okay I'd I did apply for the another typhoon than spend oh. an eternity with him hard not to interrupt <laughs> I did apply for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre key though I, or, um, Jux. Yeah, the, the early access, Take right? A moment. Don't be shy. I hope to get oh, that. Good. That would be this fun. <laughs> is he actually that tall or is he the kind of guy to embellish? He might fluff up some details, you know? This one is just. I have. Ah, you must be the ones Brennick mentioned. Two more souls chosen to leave our thankless old life behind. Yes, that is us. It's Kiral, right? You were stationed on the Spark? In my former life, yes. Just one more Marine bound to a hopeless expedition. Um, Ugh. enough of that. Hmm? As Walter says, we must forget the past. Our suffering led us here after all. And now, the Ascension is almost upon us. This place is such a wonder, isn't it? I've never seen anything like it. Oh, but it is still nothing compared to what's in the Ascension Hall. You've been inside? Indeed. What's it like, hmm? I proved my devotion not long before you joined us. Now I wait to be taken to what lies ahead. One step closer to the Ascension. So, what? <laughs> you mentioned you're waiting for what lies ahead, and we're still getting up to speed, but I thought the Ascension Hall was where we needed to go. You're not the first to fail to grasp Walter's plan for us. Now that I've seen what's in the Hall, my rank is secure. But there is something more that he's offering us. I just know it. It has to be why the Devoted are escorted to another place. And as soon as Zeth returns, he'll take me there. I'm ready. Do you have any idea where this place is, exactly? Somewhere that brings us closer to Walter. To his embrace. Weird. Okay, so, so how about the hall? inside the Ascension Hall. Is it as special as we think it is? I shouldn't say. I wouldn't want to deny you the same experience I had. Come on, Kural. Just a hint? We're dying to know what's inside. I'll Please. It's breathtaking. Like the moment Walter first appeared before our boat, but better. Oh, what sort of spectacle Prove did he give them? <laughs> and you'll see. Okay. Well, thanks for talking with us, Kiral. We should get back to learning about Walter. Yes, of course. Good luck with your studies. I Happy hope to Ascension see you at the Festival. Ascension. 
Uh, oh. <laughs> Starting to remind me of that one random, like, old, old Rick and Morty episode. Happy Ascension Day! It's where they have, like, the, the giant heads, you know? And, I don't know. And they just start sacrificing people. Just, I, I'm, I'm worried that that's where they're gonna go with this. <laughs> Writing this down so I can try to get it all straight. Nolan handled Walter's money. Jack was his bodyguard. Riley was his aesthetics advisor. No, wait, that's wrong. Riley did something called PR. Eh. Who was the other one? Oh no, I can't remember. What am I doing? I don't even know anything about the ancients. I'm just a sailor, not a diviner. I don't even know if this is part of the review. <laughs> this ego. It's a lot. Yeah. Eloy's like, wow. You really thought highly of yourself, huh? Hey there, Brennick. The show me what you got heads, exactly. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Well, <laughs> it isn't our do gooder and the barbarian. It all makes sense now. The time of ashes, the floods in the Great Delta. We've been trapped in a cycle of destruction, but soon we'll have a new world. That's quite a promise. And now that you've proved your devotion, you're ready for what comes next. Zeth will lead you there as soon as he returns. Not so fast. Your good deed in the wilds may have gotten you this far. But you'll get no special treatment here. Walter himself granted me the privilege of guarding the Ascension Hall. Gonna have to do something... So until you complete your review and learn the words of attainment, this door... You have to study? Remain shut. Uh-oh. No exceptions. Okay, okay. We will be back later then. Fine. Sounds like we're supposed to pass some kind of laundry devotion test. But who knows how long we have before this Seth guy gets back. There's got to be a faster way to learn whatever the words of attainment are. Let's take a look around. Sure, we can scan something. Let's see. Don't think the words were in those laundry holograms we watched. No. It might help with talking to the others. Maybe we can how convince could the them to give us so a hand. Long? She gonna tell Did something? You need something else? Yes. Look, Kirald, we need your help. You said that the ascension is almost here. Seika and I are trying to prove our devotion as fast as we can. But we're running out of time. We need to get into the ascension hall. But but the only way to learn the words of attainment is to pass your devotion review. Mm -hmm. Unless you help us out. We're a lot like you. We've suffered so much until now. Storms, shipwrecks, hunter killer machines. We don't want to go back to that. Well, we should all embrace his life. He's like, well, okay. Perhaps even with a helping hand. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of what Walter said when he sat with us and told us his story. About where eternity lies? What? Uh, where eternity lies. A, a new world? This world? Heaven? Uh, I don't remember what he said. Uh, well, he has the, the company Heaven Sense, so I'm gonna guess Heavens? He thought he had eternity when he traveled the heavens. No, no, that's not right. Maybe we... Yes. Well, that could have gone better. I doubt she'll be willing to help us again. <laughs> Maybe we should study I'm up on her be. before we talk to her. Oh, so else. I just messed up and now she's not going to help me? <gasps> okay. All right. What? Okay, let me look at my notebook. Dang it. Okay, where's... Is there, like, specifically a DLC section or anything? I think there was last time, yeah. Burning Shores. Okay, Ascension, a new, a new world awaits. Okay, so it was New World. 
Time of Ashes, Heaven's Offered an Escape. No. Shall spend eternity on a new world. Okay, so I got that confused. Didn't study properly. Gosh dang it. Failed the test. Uh, bodyguard Jack, Evelyn. Hmm, okay. Let's try this again. Who else can we talk to? Maybe them? Hello. I'll get us a drink. In the meantime, remember what Walter said about embracing the future. Seems like you don't really share your friend's excitement about all this. I should be more excited, shouldn't I? It's okay to question things. Lon was thrilled when we got into the Ascension Hall. He can't wait to see what we'll be taking next. I'm worried that all this is too good to be true. So why don't you just leave? I can't abandon him. We've been through everything together. Our, our missions, the typhoon, the shipwreck. And soon, the ascension, I guess. Seems like most of the clan are more than happy to follow Londra. So why not you? At first, I wanted to believe. I mean, everything he told us felt like it filled an emptiness, like maybe I'd finally found somewhere to belong. But then I remembered how the boards back home would tell us to follow the virtues of the legacy, to be good and honest. And then they dragged my father away for speaking out against an imperial decree. Oof. I'm not sure it's any different here. Walter might be a living ancestor, but with a cudgel like Zeth to do his bidding, his kindness is just as conditional as the Empire's. Yeah. As far as anyone at your settlement knows, you went out into the wilds and vanished. How did you end up here? Lon and I were part of a scouting mission to the mainland, but things went bad fast. We were lost and starving. Our boat was wrecked, and then Walter found our camp. A living ancestor, emerging from the wilds to tell us we've been chosen, chosen. that we were safe. It was easy to embrace. I think he's gonna Everyone use here you, has a perhaps? Similar story. Why didn't anyone send word to us? Not everyone is chosen. But Walter says we must leave our old lives behind if we're going to ascend. Nobody hmm. questioned it. But I should have. Nobody questioned it. Yeah, no, they just saw their living ancestor and were like, okay, uh huh, anything you say. You said Lon can't wait to see where you're headed next. Do you know what you'll find there? I imagine it'll be another kind of test, like here. Once you've been in the Ascension Hall, you're taken there by Zeth. He and his troops are the only ones who ever come back. Everyone keeps mentioning him. I get the feeling he's not really a friendly guy. <laughs> as friendly as a fireclaw. But it's not just him. The soldiers that follow him are like that too. I guess they know they can do as they like, now that they don't answer to the Admiral or compliance. You're right to be skeptical so, of all this. can I pass the test? Wanderer is up to something. We need to get into the Ascension Hall to figure out what. And to do that, we need the words of attainment. I don't want to stir up any trouble. When Zeth comes back, he'll figure out that I told you. Does it have something to do with one of those laundry displays? This is important, Otosu. A lot of lives are at stake. It's related to what Walter said he valued most about his friends. His friends. That was the one I didn't read very well. Uh, is this future Scientology? Um... Not exactly, but you know, you could you could say that, I suppose. Basically, this guy's just kind of using these people and their beliefs um to 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 exploit them, which, you know. Yeah. Hi Gothic. How's it going? Welcome. <laughs> Never going to make it as a cultist if you don't memorize the brainwashing mumbo jumbo, right? Like ah. Uh, okay. So 
He said his fans adored him, but his friends? Yeah, I think this was like a dedication thing. You liked how loyal they were, right? It's about their dedication to him, right? That's right. See? It'll be okay. I don't know. Maybe this is a bad idea. Look, whatever Laundra wants with your people, it's not good. Everyone here, including your friend, are in danger. But you can help us stop him. Okay. Repeat this to Brennick. Only through devotion may I embrace his light. Only through him may I ascend to a new world. <sighs> Thanks, Tosu. Devotion. Okay. Up. Ascend to I new worlds. You know what you're doing. Think I've got that? I don't know. <laughs> well, we got our words of attainment. Renick should let us into the Ascension Hall now. Let's get out of here. I would cry if it made me like actually spell it out like word by word. Like I, <laughs> I would super fail. I already told you. No one's getting past me. I can maybe do like a multiple choice thing. <laughs> oh, we know the words. Seika. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> you should have the honor. Oh, th th Aloy. thanks, Seika. Only through devotion may I embrace his light. Only through him may I ascend to a new world. No one's ever passed their devotion review so quickly. What, memorize well, we a did. sentence? Well, so we can get out of the way now. I mean, yeah, we did great. We're devoted. You can't say otherwise. I we said the words. I don't know how much more of Laundra I can take. Yeah, let's see what he's really up to. Spell cast. <laughs> all welcome, this time, team. They didn't even want to be found. We don't know if they all feel that way. I yeah. Sure. Something on your mind? Nothing. The Ascension Hall better have answers. That's all. Definitely a comment, yeah, on how people's beliefs can be exploited and such. Which is un an, an unfortunate elevator. reality. Let's see where it leads. Okay, elevator? Anything to find around here? No? Let's go. Up. Okay. Up we go. We're ascending. Really building up this so I'm assuming he's building a giant rocket ship trying to take a bunch of people to, like, do the hard stuff while he lives as, like, a, a god sort of thing. You know? That's how they'll ascend. I'm just building a spaceship, all right. They better take a closer look. Also, sorry, cat, cat Clouds. interruption. They're not real. Oh, I can't see him very it's well. It's all an illusion. He's cute, sorry. It's all an illusion. Oh. This is pretty. Look at this room. This is a cool design. I mean, yeah, I see why this would impress people. It's pretty sweet. Okay, let's see. What can we find? Let's check upstairs first. Some supplies, which probably means I'm gonna fight something at some point. Question is, when? <laughs> I think it just wants me to go downstairs, so, sure. Not that way. Hopping down below. Nothing there, had to check. They throw so many sneaky things at me in this game. How about this side before I go check out the other side? So that door does not open, it seems. What do we got? Random stuff. I do kind of wish that you could find some like random machine parts and stuff like in some of these supply chests to like upgrade your weapons and all. That'd probably be too easy though. Uh, 
I kind of don't want to really hop back down that way. My focus. Or... What's that sound? Just kidding. I can go it's under here. A, a warning, I think. For radiation, something toxic. Radiation. Be safe enough for now, but I'd better check out the ship. Okay. Hmm. Tell me what you find. What's he using to power this ship? I'm sure something really nice. Sure something just like the, you know, the power of the clouds or something. It's cool looking. Look at this thing. Scan it. Okay. Storage for Mantra's followers. But that can't be enough space for all of them. Uh oh. MSP again. What does that mean? Is it like whoever will? Follow him Look, the best. The source of the radiation. That's why he grabbed data from that old prototype in his headquarters. It must be how I'll get the lift he needs. Yeah, if you tried this on the Nora, the Nora would have just immediately attacked him. <laughs> and then probably all would have died like attacking him because he had the sci-fi powers. Um, but they, they would not have just gone along with it. <laughs> the Quen already had the whole focus thing, the Viner system. Um I, yeah, I don't think that would have worked for the Nora. Oh wait, there was another part. Let's check out the other one. Okay, well I already got that. Is there something else? Something, how about that? I just got the Horus' printer working again. To build the ship. Oh goody. Project completion status, 97%. Okay, uh oh, bad. Very bad. <laughs> Hi Noryuk, welcome. Um, bad news for Aloy. I don't like that look. Hope you're having a good one. What did you find? Really of good. I... It has a a special component, one that can make almost anything you can imagine: parts, tools, even entire machines. Landra has rigged it to build what he needs for his ship. But in order for the ship to leave, it needs a ton of power, way more than what Landra could achieve with what he had. So he went looking for something from his old company. Exactly. Part of the data he got was for a blueprint, for a kind of boost. One that's as toxic as it gets. Oh, yeah, he's gonna do the thing, wipe out the planet. Ship yeah. gets airborne. Do the whole radiation thing. It'll spread a poison from here to every tribal land in the region. Everyone will get sick and die. Who says? There's still something I don't get. Why would Landra do all of this just to get off this world? This again! Sake. You're still not telling me everything. My people Just are tell the ones her, that are caught up in all this. My sister. You gotta tell I her. I deserve to know. You're right. Tell her. I will tell you. It just won't be. Of course. And then we get cut off. Awesome. Guess our time's up. Lying filth. Oh, this must be our friend Zeth. Hi there. Spread out. Reinforcements will follow. Uh oh. Time to put you down. Uh oh. Here we go. Never seen a cannon like that before. I guess Laundra gave him a new toy. How do we even get out of here? Okay, now we fight. Uh, am I am I ready for this? Um. Okay, I haven't checked these coils and stuff in a second. Um, Ufas, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Happy anniversary. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's it's the one year for me and my husband today. Mostly celebrated this weekend, but thank you. <laughs> uh, mounted defense? No, see, I should not have that. Is that really what I have on right now? I mean, that one's really good. Drop shield capacity, smoke bomb capacity, trap limit. Um, all defense plus three. That sounds pretty good. Let's try that. That'll at least be better than what I had before. Okay. All right. We ready? Thank you, guys. <laughs> Click on lockdown, but maybe there's a way to shut it off. Okay. Ah! Uh, so stay hi there. And look for something to override. Oh! No! It doesn't have to be this way. I don't think I'm listening to you. 
You're in trouble yeah. now. I I'm in trouble? You were the one with one HP. Okay. I was trying to charge up an attack. Rude. Think he's dead? arrows go up Freeze. above here right in the face I want that heavy weapon new top priority take out everyone else with the heavy weapon Ooh, yeah yeah see that I need that I want you dead. Uh. 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 Gotcha. Okay, I remembered how to actually do a combo right there. I'm like, wait, that's a thing. Uh, let's grab the gun. Anyone else? Who else? You? Oh, who? You're a little... Oh, there you are. Come on. Come bite. Come on. I gotta get one of those. Yeah, you should. You should find me another one, because it's gonna run out eventually. Okay, can we just Can you please die? Thank you. Keep attacking. That shield's blocking my shots. Oh, I can't get him. Okay. Search for a way to disable the lockdown. Uh. Okay, I don't know. Let's keep going this way. Nice and slow. A gift for you. Uh, uh. Ah. Oh. Let up. Let up. There we go. Only ten bullets left in this. Six, five, four. Come on. Three. Ah, two left. Two, one. Nice. Door's locked. It's not gonna budge with the lockdown. Okay, lockdown. There's something I didn't read. Hang on. What did I not read? No way up there. Gotta disable the lockdown. What is this? Does this say something? My creation, born by necessity from the womb of the Horus, is infinitely more imaginative than its ancient predecessors. Not even Shihumbe could have foreseen it. Who? I just hope it's fast enough to outrun his shadow. Who? Is that what he's calling the nemesis thing? Weird. Thanks, Dallas It's good to see you. Wind up on the weapon. It almost sounds like a cat's meow. On the heavy weapon? I see it. That's kind of funny. Um, can I... Okay, can't get up there, I guess. Do no match for my arrow. Okay, it doesn't want me to go back up there. So where does it want me to go? There's gotta be somewhere... Like in power node. Yeah, here we it go. It might let the lockdown. Making sure no one's gonna come attack me. <laughs> it's wired to two more nodes. I gotta Can't keep looking. Up. Been playing too many horror games lately. I'm like, nope, don't turn, don't turn your back. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Speaking of horror games, oh. I start talking about him and get scared. That's good. Outlast Trials is gonna be fun later. Uh, Ah! At least here I can fight back. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, Jafin, thank you. Only the weak have fallen. Okay, uh... Oh, there's gonna be more power notes. Oh, goody. I gotta find more. Uh, I think there's gotta be another, maybe on the other side, probably? Jafin, thank you so much for gifting three subs to the community. That means a lot. Hope you've been enjoying the stream. And, uh, and the game as well. The DLC's been a lot of fun to play. And I'm interested to see how all of this is going to, like, end up. Great addition to the story. Um, you guys, if you got a sub, hope you enjoy the emotes and the community and hanging out here with us. All of our, our fun chaos that we like to have. Um... How about over here? Come on. Yes. But we need a third. Let's find a third. You love this Got game? It. That is great to hear. A shame I, won't get to crush you myself, I really hope that they go with a third shield. game. It's basically confirmed at this point. Like, they, they said it. Like, can't wait to continue Aloy's story, so that means... That means there will be another game. All right, so I disabled two of them. That means that the third one's probably gonna be like back here. Did I already go do this one? Is this? Nope. There we go. Lifted. Now to get to Zack. Don't let them through. So now we gotta go to the door that was locked. Oh, there's more of them now. There we go. Uh let's do that. Oh, they dodged. That's kind of rude. An eye for an eye. Oh, oh, really? I wanted fire, not shock. Okay, I can't see. Okay, well, you're not like on fire anymore. That's that's disappointing. Um, oh, you're kind of not the easiest enemy. I'm gonna actually just go ahead and put you on fire. Let's do that. Like I originally intended. Bam. Nice. Useless whelps. Useless whelps. <laughs> hmm. Maybe you should come find me yourself then, huh? I knew some of those marines. Yeah, that that Yeah, there's something off about them. But for now we focus on Zeth. Yeah, are they like Right. Okay, so now that I'm thinking about it, so Beta had some kind of like, they had some kind of control on Beta's mind. So I'm wondering if they have some kind of control on like everyone else's mind. We're gonna find out. Love streaming this game. Oh, that's awesome to hear. Can't wait for the third part of this. I know. Your fear is understandable. I'm gonna be streaming the uh, PlayStation Showcase. Co streaming that um, on Wednesday. So hopefully, maybe some fun announcements then. Maybe not this game quite yet, but who knows? It's gonna be some fun stuff regardless. Come on out, Zeth. I've got your back. Hello. I'll enjoy crushing you both. Where is nice he? Nice to meet you too. Oh, you hi. Will stay down. <laughs> okay, so what if I do? <laughs> That's crazy! I you be a challenge. Okay, so what's with the adhesive buildup? Makes you move really slow, right? I can keep going. Come on. There's nowhere to hide. Oh 
my gosh, thank you for gifting five more. That is amazing. Do you guys, can we get some hype in chat? Uh, for subs, and then also, so hopefully I don't die. Um. Okay, let's actually try to maybe do some melee combos here. I didn't quite get it. I will crush you. Oh, oh, ow. No, 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 no. Stop that! Try and flee! The crunch of your bones is music to my ears. Take a little help. There we go. No one will mourn you, Seika. Your insults are as useless as you are. Did he say no one will mourn you, Seika? What the heck? Why is this guy so messed up? Okay, I'm gonna refill our healing. Let's do a little... A little bit of that. He's gonna do a little bit of that. Like plasma damage. Walter's chosen will prevail. Uh, uh, run. Oh, come on. Okay, I need Pull extra overdraw together. overdraw damage. There we go. Okay, that overdraw damage does a lot more now with those perks or with my coils. There we go. Oh, he interrupted my combo. Oh my gosh, it's letting me revive her as I just got... Oh, no, it didn't. No, it didn't. It was lying to me. It was lying. Um... No. This is more ideal for machines. But, like, help me out here. There we go. Does such big damage. Okay, I really need to revive her. She's just down until I pick her up, apparently. Here we go. Uh, so I don't have any more healing. Give me some healing, please. Healing, healing, healing. Okay, we got like a little bit. No, we didn't. I didn't pick it up. more damage. I mean, I think this does a lot more damage, so let me just go back to this bow. There we go. One more. Bam. Hey. Also, thank you for five more gift subs. Heck yeah. Where have you been taking the rest of our people? Answer her question. So he takes the devoted to his park on the southern peninsula. His park. But you'll never reach it. The tower there is positioned to ward off any approach. And my sister is there? She was in the final group. I'm not supposed to bring any more and over. If her sister's already been like brainwashed, you know? Ascension to everyone Seems who proves like... themselves. Uh... We don't understand. Londra's been using you to get what he wants. Let's face it, you're an easy mark. Oh. Too blinded by your own ego to see the truth. Yeah, he wanted to be chosen. No. Well, you just slipped his world upside down. Just give me a straight answer. Why does Londra want to leave? <sighs> She's gonna tell her now. Okay. Something is coming to Earth. 
It destroyed the world that Londra fled, and it wants to do the same thing here. Destroy the world? What could possibly do that? It's called Nemesis. It's like a machine, sort of. But it's more powerful than anything you or I have ever faced. That's why Londra's building the ship. Say bye-bye. He's doing everything in his power to leave before it gets here. And I guess he wants to take some coin with him, too. Yeah, he wants his adoring I know fans. A lot to take in, but there's still hope. It's only taking the most devoted. If you say so. She's like, is there? Is there hope? Hmm. Seika. There's a beach on the southeast coast of the island where we took down the first tower. That's probably the closest we'll get to Londra's park. And I should probably report Aww. back to the Admiral. Tell him... something about what we found here. Yeah, she's kind of depressed with that news. Yeah, that's why Aloy wasn't telling okay. me. Sorry. I'll meet you at the beach then. Yay, the burden of knowledge. <laughs> Fair enough. That was bad. That was, that was really bad. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, oh no. She seemed so lost. Why do I feel like that too? How do I fix uh, this? For now, I'd better take a look at that zenith weapon. Okay. I think I can turn this into something I can use. There. I should test it out when I get back outside. Better check on the rest of the coin on my way out, too. I have a new special weapon in your inventory. The Spectre Gauntlet is a powerful and flexible weapon. In Shard Barrage mode, you can fire homing projectiles at targets that you've placed a designator on. Designators are fired with R1 and consume weapon stamina. Equip the Spectre Gauntlet to try it out. That's kind of fun. From America, yep, I, I live in Colorado, which is where Aloy, the, where's, which is where the Nora lands are, at least partially. <laughs> Hi, Mattership, how's it going? Welcome. Solve all of your problems with violence, with at least most of them in, in this world, it seems, yeah. <laughs> it's the Stuff for the stash. Down we go. Wee. What is this? There was something different in Nova's tone today. The slightest edge of recalcitrance. Tweaking her settings brought her back in line, but I'll run a full diagnostic just to be sure. Like oh, just worse than the other Zeniths. Like resistance? Willing to irradiate thousands so long as he survives. Sick and I have to find a way to stop him. Once I make things right with her. Oh. Oh, Aloy, Aloy wants to go make things right with her. Yeah. I guess Brennick spread the word to the rest of the people here. That Laundra doesn't care about them. I must be pretty confused. Oh. Now all these people's hopes and dreams that they just had are shattered. They're like, yay! We get to go ascend. Ow. It was bullshit. No. <laughs> no. That must be so sad for them. Sorry, guys. That's rough. Well, let's get out of here. And... See. Seems relatively calm. Just tense. It seems like the Quim have some thinking to do. Yeah. I hope they figure it out and head back to Fleet's End. Hopefully. But I gotta meet up with Seika. 
Talk things out with her. Mm -hmm. Make sure we're okay. Make sure we're okay? Oh. Friends or... Okay, beautiful. Look at these colors right now. Look at these flowers. Loving the flowers. Given Aloy's isolated upbringing, a certain amount of social awkwardness is understandable. Oh, yes, definitely. She may have a crush. She might. Ooh. Well, where are we? Um, let's go do a little bit of exploring. Let's go over here. Can we fly? Oh, yes, we can. Okay, here we go. Trying to remember controls, so let's just do like a little flyby of this area. I did read that data point that like mentioned something up here with the sign. The second L. I mean, it's got something going through it. Can I go up any higher? Hmm. Maybe not. Eh, I'm not sure. Let me know if there's something to to see there, but I'm not so sure. Uh oh. Uh oh. I've been spotted. What about over here? I know I've got like a side quest or something back there that I'm gonna go to in just a minute. We're going up and up and up. Okay, that's a lot of trees. Yeah, no, this is just a, a very tree area. Anything to find? We're leaving burning shores. If you continue, you will fly to the Valley of the Fallen. Okay, so we found the edge there. I was wondering. Pretty. Wee. Let's see what's over here. <laughs> what a nice day. Like I said earlier, we're just gonna keep going today until we are finished with this game. Then we'll have to revisit the game when uh, maybe when we get some news maybe about the next one or something. We'll see. Is a quest? I this is picking up a signal. But how do I get to it? Can I land somewhere? I don't what's inside. Uh, can I can I land? Okay, or we can just do that. Oh. I don't want my sun wing to die. We are simply being at attacked for existing. We really need Gaia to take back over, don't we? Okay, come on. That's fun. Okay, I want to get my Sunwing out of here. I feel like my Sunwing is gonna die. Is that a thing? Okay, so skills. So if I go to Machine Master, hang on. Repair damaged overridden machines for less metal shards. Uh, so you have to like probably be next to it. Hold triangle. I think there was a perk down here I wanted. What did I want? What's that one? Bolt Blaster. No, I'm not using that. Glide targeting, no, it wasn't that one. Low health stamina seems nice. Shield drop seems kind of cool. Craft and deploy drop shields. Seems kind of interesting. What else? What do we have down here? 
Resonator refill. Overriding machine instantly energizes your spear for resonator blast. That's kind of fun. Burst dodge, sticky bomb, low health range. Let's try drop shields and glide targeting could be kind of fun. Hmm. Spike thrower, that one. Set a machine to either aggressive or defensive behavior when overriding it. Oh, that's kind of nice. I'm gonna get that. That sounds kind of cool. Machine health, overridden machines have more health. Yeah. Oh, here's a perch. Perch, or can I grab that? How do I grab? Oh. Oh, cool. Let's just go for the glide. Okay, can I can I go on up? Aloy. Aloy, please. Do something. Please do something. Use a dr okay. Can I, can I not go up or down? I can't go up right here. Can I go to the side? Oh my gosh. That is, that is not helpful. And then I, I can, okay, so I can't jump up there, but I can do that for sure. I'm still figuring out the movement sometimes. There we go, there we go. Don't think you've ever used a Resonator Blast. Oh, they're very helpful once I finally figured out how to actually use them. Relief. Enemies are too close. What? Aerial capture. What does that mean? Aloy has discovered corrupted data from the final days of Los Angeles. What might repairing it reveal? There we go. This now it's letting me. There's corrupted data on it. And it's linked to a flight path? Maybe if I follow its trail, my focus can repair the data. Follow its trail. I should fly the starting coordinates up in the air nearby. Okay, let's do that. Fly to the starting coordinates. Whoop! That's fun. <laughs> I can pick right up the transmitter's here. flight path from there. Okay, I think my focus is this repairing is cool. the transmitter data. Do I like to use traps? I haven't been using traps all that much. I should probably start using them a little bit more. They're they're pretty quick to place now. It's not normally the signal's getting weak. Got to get back on the route. The thing I think of first, you know. Oh, no, 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 no. Keep going. Big fan of the drop shield. Ooh. Didn't think it was a perk. Yeah. There might be, like, another way to get it, too, or something. I don't know. But that's where I see to get it. Huh. Data's still repairing, but there's an audio log. Barely made it back today. We were sent to extract data of great importance. I lost the flight path. I'll need to try again from the start. Oh, I'm a fool. I started crafting. I got too comfortable. I didn't think I could lose it like that. No, no. I didn't think it was going to make me start from the beginning. Okay, note to self. Don't do that. My bad. At least it's not as, like, uh, the consequences aren't as dire as, like, in Cyberpunk when I mess up. Um, when I'm, when I'm accidentally killing the NPC pedestrians. Like, I'm sorry. Sorry, I, I, was, I was looking at chat and not the road. Okay, let's let's actually fly through the thing. Holy cow. Okay, let's try to turn the other way. Is there a way the to- trail. I need to go back to the start. Oh, I picked it up? I didn't even realize I had. Okay. 
Now we have. There we go. Hey, Fierce, welcome. Good day already. Only gonna get better. Okay, I'm not gonna mess up this time. We're gonna we're gonna stay on the trail. Oh, there was some green shine right there. I'm not gonna mess up my trail for that though. Even though I do kind of need it. It's fine. It's fine. Um, I do want to make some drop shields though, but not while I'm following this specific flight path, probably. Barely made it back today. There we go. We were sent to extract data of great importance to Zero Dawn. Our mission led us to this freaking bougie baby clinic in the hills. Why does a super weapon need info on embryo storage? Soldiers, hmm, why? We're being turned into biomass slushies for this? I'm getting too far away from the flight path. I am? Come on. I love the flying mechanic. Uh, is there another game that has flying like this? But there wasn't time to dig deeper. I'm sure there is. But like which one? We barely got back to the vert. The fourth, ninth, and eleventh MRBs put up a good fight against a Titan. I doubt many survived. Oh. Flight path is getting harder to see. It's okay, we just gotta keep on it. A little bit easier from certain angles. Let's go above it a little bit. And... What do we have here? Pasha always said one day he'd buy a mansion with oh, a view of the Hollywood nice. sign. Then he died for zero dawn. Whatever the hell it really is. The public couldn't know the truth. Elizabeth knew it was the only way. No. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of people felt really horrible about that because they didn't have the truth, you know? Okay. Let's go over here. So, we'll meet Seika, but I'm trying to go do a couple more side quests, maybe. Let's go do- let's- okay. Let's check out what this is. And then... Probably- Take a snack break and then we'll go to Seika. Probably a good plan. So have you guys all beaten the DLC yet? Are you waiting to play it? Are you deciding to play it? Not wanting to play it but wanting to see it? Don't have time to play it? Don't have the PS5? Like what? How were we feeling about it? Because it's beautiful. Great game, but I know that not everyone will have the chance to play this. I never had a PS... I never had PlayStation anything until this year. Um, and this amazing community is the reason I have this PS5, so... Pretty incredible. Oh my gosh. David, thank you so much for gifting two more gift subs! Seriously, thank you! I, it means a lot. Thank you for being a great part of our community and uh, being so supportive. Thank you. Yes, enjoy the subs and emotes and community and beautiful sights and like I don't know this game this game is nice nice sights and sounds of burning shores I like how like tropical it is that's kind of fun what about down here so we can kind of go just like check out anything like, is there anything to go find in this tower? Like, what is this tower? Was this something? I just feel like there's gonna be some random data points, or at least, like, something like that in all of these random towers, you know? Like, I would be really shocked if they were just, like, empty, you know? What is that? Vent panel. Like, can I... Can I land somewhere? Oh 
Okay, thank you. Should we name our bird machine friend? I feel like I feel like we need that. I was also I was uh, going through some of my art supplies, doing a little bit of organizing, and uh, just did a quick, simple little watercolor painting this weekend. Uh, just really quick, and I went and actually found uh, a mostly finished painting of a Broomstick, my horse from Red Dead Two. Oopsies. My horse from Red Dead 2 that I had done a while back. I gotta finish it up and show you guys. Um, how do I get up there? Um, guess I could fly up to it. There we go. Hang on. Can I... Okay, hover up. No. Can I not get to that? No, I can't. Okay, so that did not work. There's something else over here that could work. That's gotta be right. Hmm. Hmm. Like on the other side? Like what am I missing over there? Okay, well there's this down here. Uh-oh. No, Sunwing, please get out of here. Please don't fight. Please don't do it. So, do I need to like shoot that thing? Can I shoot that? No, none of this is working. You beat it, you didn't do a lot of the side quests, thought it was so well done. You live right next to LA, right? Kind of fun to see places like LAX, the Griffith Observatory, post-apocalypse. I, I grew up in California, and mostly more in Orange County, but I would go up to LA pretty frequently, so it, it, it's kind of cool to see their interpretation of, you know, what that would be like in this kind of situation and setting and possible future. Um, uh, looks like... Can I enter right there? No. I don't know how to get in there. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll continue on for now. I'm not exactly sure. I'm not sure there's any data points anyways, which was the main reason. I don't really need supplies. I just want info. Is that a data point? What is that? No, I don't think that's a data point. Just want to make sure. I want all of the lore. Give me all of it, thank you. We're gonna go check out the side quest. Is that a giant holographic dinosaur? What theme park is this? Is this like Jurassic Park? A holograph? Style? That's so funny. I might be getting too there. close to the tower. Better steer clear. Yeah, no, I'm not. What? Oh! I gotta get out of here. Where? Which tower? What's doing that to me? Oh, that? Is it this? What is this? Is that something? Cauldron. Oh, we found a cauldron. Delver's camp. Okay, so there's definitely some stuff over here. Yeah. What is that? Unknown Slitherbank site, Lancehorn. Nothing, cra nothing too crazy there, but let's see. Can we go to the cauldron? That could be fun. Looks like there was, yeah, a campfire over here. There we go. Glide on down. 
Quick save. I'm liking it a lot. I really like the characters and stuff and the story additions and all. It's definitely like my favorite part about like this whole game and everything is just the characters are really cool and I don't know, it feels very like immersive and alive. Hi Objection, how's it going? Welcome on in. Hope you're having a good one. Anyone do anything fun this weekend? Play any fun games? Apex Fireclaw. I mean... Should we fight it? Do I have anything frost? Not right now. Okay, interesting. Well, it's only weak to frost, so maybe I won't go pick a fight. This cauldron door is blocked, but... If I can get in and reach its core, I can get more overrides. Oh, I'm in the lava. I'll have to find another entrance. The floor is literally lava. <laughs> Cauldron Theta. Am I still on fire? Aloy, we... Can, can we put ourselves out? Can we pat off the fire a little bit? Oh my. Street Fighter Six beta all weekend. Oh, fun! And Ghost of Tsushima and uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Tears of the Kingdom looks super fun. I'll have to try it eventually, but that might be more one that I just kind of play to relax by myself. We'll see. Start making a red Sonya scale. Ma oh, that's cool. I want to start making some armor and stuff. Takes a bit of knowledge, though, so I haven't really taken the time to really figure that out, you know? You're gonna buy a PS5 tomorrow? Oh, that's so exciting. Congrats. This is a great DLC. Would highly recommend. I think it's a really good continuation of the story. There's certain aspects of this that I'm surprised, like our DLC, that I feel like they'll definitely, you know, have to give some people a recap in maybe the beginning of the next game if you didn't play the DLC or something, you know? I just, I wonder how they handled that. Uncle Jim, thank you so much for the, the it's the year subversary. Hope you had a nice wedding anniversary. Thank you. Celebrated this over the weekend. It was it was very nice. Thank you. I hope you're having a good one. And uh, just thanks for your support. The scale mail shirt. That's super cool. That That's like a whole art. It's fascinating stuff. Definitely a chill game. Okay. So I... I'm trying to figure out how the heck to get in this cauldron. And I don't really know. <laughs> But I'm assuming it's going to be back here. So, in that case... Okay, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I'm going to go... I'm going to go to my save. Hang on. Let me reassess here. So, we're going to go up to the cauldron in just a moment. We have our, our Glintock. Let's activate that. We're going to do that one. We also have that quest over there. Uh, and then something over here also, apparently. That we flew over, which is nice. So we will go check all this stuff out. Guys, I'm going to just take a quick little stretch break. Literally, like, just five minutes max here. And, uh, and we'll keep going. Thank you all for joining me. This is a great DLC. And uh, we're going to keep going with our next segment. Until we are done for today. So we're just going to keep going. Awesome. BRB.